Beautiful. How you doing? Okay, how are you? I'm, I'm good. Happy you stopped me. I was about to stop you. What's your name? You said you happy that I stopped you because you was about to stop me. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you surprised? Yeah. My name Damien. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, you look delicious too. Where you headed to? Um, to the store. Okay. What's that? An AP? What? Oh, okay, okay. You matching my vibe, huh? <laughs> Bust down. Okay, okay. Delicious. I'm actually just walking. I was thinking about going to get something to eat. Where are you, you headed to? Am I taking you with me? Yeah, you're a great I mean, whoa, this is actually <laughs> delicious, huh? You're attractive. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You using my line. I was going to use on you on me. So you find me attractive? Yeah. I like is, other guys. You do? So you saying that you was actually gonna stop me before I stopped you? Yeah. Really? Should I not have? <laughs> I mean, it's just different for me. I, I actually was gonna go. You got me stuttering. I was actually gonna get something to eat, and then I was gonna break myself down and sell it. I mean, what? <laughs> break up. I was supposed to be going to buy a building and breaking it down and selling it. Okay. Not breaking. What I say? I break the house before. Oh, so you, you flipped the house before? Mm -hmm. mm, wow. So you find me attractive. You tell older dudes, huh? Come here for a second. Walk with me for a second. It's actually my little whip right here. I'm about to ready get in it. Oh, you got a wagon? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. What you be doing? I got a Tesla too. You got what? A Tesla. Oh, you got a Tesla and you got a wagon? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Let me check you out, delicious. Oh my goodness, did that thing jiggle? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes, it definitely <laughs> jiggle. So you want to hop in for a second? I mean, I definitely want to get to know you. Let me grab this door for you. Delicious. I ain't never met nobody named Delicious and actually look delicious. That's why they call me Delicious. Oh my God, you a dangerous Delicious too. Don't hurt yourself getting up in there. Ain't you a Mmm. Jeez. Homegirl said she was going to stop me before I stopped her. What? Let me see what's going on here. Comfortable over there? Turn it on there a little bit. So you say that you got a wagon too? Yeah. Oh yeah. What year? Well, I, I guess it don't really matter. I mean, it's a 2020. 2020. It is. It's still a wagon. I mean, so you got a wagon and a Tesla. So yeah, I got my. Own. Oh, so tell me about it. I mean, um, so I got businesses. I I do a lot. I got my hands in a lot of stuff. Oh wow! Legally, right? Yeah. Wow, this is this is rare. I mean, well, I kind of told you about myself out there. I actually, I'm still kind of lost. You said that you was gonna stop me before I stopped you. Mm -hmm. You were literally gonna stop me? Yeah, cause younger guys, they they don't know what they want. Older guys, they know what they want. They ready to settle down, build with somebody. Younger guys, they wanna just. Oh wow! So you looking for a man, man? Mm -hmm. And you into dark skinned dudes? I love chocolate. You love chocolate? I love chocolate. <laughs> wow, jeez, I, I, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. So how old are you delicious? I'm 25. You're 25? Mm -hmm. And you look a lot younger than 25. No, thank you. Yeah, so you that means I'm age good. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> age good. You know, like they say black don't crack, but I don't know, what are you, Mexican, Spanish? No, I'm Italian, Puerto Rican, and black. You Italian? Mm -hmm. Buongiorno. Uh, I don't know how to speak French though. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually been to Italy. I need before. to learn. Mm. Yeah. You have a very beautiful voice. You soft spoken too. Thank you. So I guess I need to ask you the obvious. I mean, you single? Yeah. How did that happen? Long story, but yeah. I mean, I must be lucky. This must be my lucky day. Kind of sort of. Wow. Say that. Wow, this actually took me out because I be doing these videos and stuff from time to time, like mm -hmm. social experiments. Okay. But I wasn't expecting this. This right here kind of took me by surprise. What was you expecting? I mean, I was going to try to holler at you, but I didn't know <laughs> that you was going to try to holler at me. <laughs> and it's like, you say that you got your own and stuff, like you mm -hmm. got your own spot and everything. Mm -hmm. And you just be doing businesses and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you be cooking and stuff. Yeah, uh, I cook. I hope every girl know how to cook. Wow. So what well, type? I know they don't, but. Nah, not every girl. <laughs> not every girl. So, like, what type of stuff do you be, like, doing for your man? Like, I mean. Um, well, you got to treat your man like a king. You got to spoil him so that he'll spoil you. 
Wow. Wow. Whew. Wow. This is this is crazy. I mean, you, <laughs> I'm literally blushing and I don't even, I'm, I'm 50 something. You got I'm, me blushing too. I'm 52 years old. I don't, I don't even blush. But goodness, I'm actually like, honestly, I moved out here like three years ago from Indiana. Okay. I've never been there. You never been there? Yeah, it's the Midwest. Yeah. But since I've been out here, like, I've been trying to, you know, meet my queen and stuff. And it's like every female that I run across be like, be on some BS. And like, they always like asking me for stuff and always want me to do stuff. But it's like, you, like, it's something's different here. Like, yes. something's different. You seem like that you independent. Yeah. Very. You ain't want. That's how I was raised. <laughs> You ain't talked about my truck and the money, nothing like like. We can put it together and build something. Oh wow, you were actually wow. You were actually helping your man come up. Yeah. You ain't the type of woman to actually bring your dude now. No. You want to see your man win. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Cause like I'm single. That's good. And I'm not with anyone. I haven't been with anyone for a very long time. That's good. That's good. Like that's I, good for me. Oh wow, you real <laughs> serious about this too. So like so like you would be ashamed to introduce me to your people being that I'm an older man? No. Really? I'm grown. You got kids? Yeah, I have one. Don't like no kids came up like that body at all. I got <laughs> Wow. I got one. I mean, do you be working out and stuff? No. You don't work out? It's just all natural. I'm blessed. Huh? How old is your kid? He's ten. He's ten? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, I wasn't, wow, wow. So you ever been married or? I, I no, know I've probably been engaged, but not married. Been, oh man, yeah. sorry for his loss. <laughs> I know he's sick as hell right now. So, it was his decision. Mm, yeah, oh, really? Well, the decisions he made. Oh, okay, okay. So like, what type of stuff do you like to do delicious? Um, I like to travel, I like to eat. Wow. Hang on, my son. Wow. You like to travel. You like to eat. Wow, this is crazy. No, <laughs> take me to the mall, get me a Birkin bag, and none of that. Just you read uh, and stuff? Do you read books and stuff? No. I'm not. I, I watch like seminars, but I'm, I'm not a big reader. You like to go to the beach and stuff? I love the beach. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's what I like to do. You like that's watching good. movies and stuff? Mm hmm. Oh my God, this is crazy. Am I dreaming? Pinch me real quick. <laughs> oh. I don't want to hurt you. You don't want to hurt me? Why? Would you ever hurt me? <clears throat> if you hurt me, you got to you gotta do something to me for me that. Like, wow. I'm not going to just do it for no reason. Do you consider yourself like a really loyal woman? Like, yes. Like when you with somebody, you yes. really with them? Yes. No games, none of that? Yeah. Wow, this is, this is unbelievable. I mean, you think I can get your phone number? I mean, yeah. just just type it in there. Wow. <laughs> so you really be watching movies and stuff and going to the beach? Mm -hmm. I like fishing and stuff too. Like I, I have never been fishing, but I want to go. I'll try. Really? Mm -hmm. You would go with me? Yeah, I really want to go. I've never been. And I've never been camping either, but I want to go. So wait, let me let me <laughs> let me get this right. Like now you got me hot, sweaty. Like ah, okay. So you so you you would you would love to go fishing with me, even though that you never been. You would learn. Yeah. You would let me teach you, mm -hmm. and you would watch movies with me and stuff. Yeah. Wow, this has never happened before. This is like what I've always wanted. It's like this is what I've been looking for. This is like my whole goal is to meet the right. Why, why haven't you? How? How you ain't found her? Because everybody that I meet, the first thing they ask me when they see the car or the truck, um, what, what I do for a living, the first thing I ask them is. Because you always go for the younger girls, huh? Yeah, yeah but some of them are a little bit older than you. Um, you 25 and you're very mature. Yeah, some girls don't know how to. They don't know how to move around. Wow. So, so, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> so, do you have plans this weekend? Like, today is Thursday. Do you have a lot of plans this weekend? Not really. Really? Paperwork, that's it. Paperwork. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Wow. Wow. Well, I don't really have a lot of stuff planned. I got to close a business deal today. That's mm -hmm. what I'm in this area for. Um, but I would like to hook up with you this weekend. I want to give you a call and stuff and, you know, see if you want to hang out. I mean, you got a 10 year old son. I mean, we mm -hmm. can go to the beach together, do some fishing. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's a little bit um, kind of premature, but I figure I might as well ask, like, if, if you're free, I'll just give you a call later on. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. This is never. Outside? You want to do it Right here and outside. This has never really happened to me before. Hey, beautiful chocolate. How you doing? Looking like a chocolate fudge Sunday. I'm Damien. What's your name? Uh, you hold it up to you. How daddy? Oh, my hand look like raisins. Oh, you said I'm old enough to be your dad? I'm just trying to meet new people. You look like a very nice, beautiful young lady who, you know, sound like you could buy it with an older man like me. No, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Oh, are you married or do you got a boyfriend? Oh, you just not interested in me. Yeah, I'm sorry, you too old for me. Do I need to lose weight? No. I shaved, I dyed my hair black. I'm not interested. You don't even see no gray, do you? I dyed my hair all the time. <laughs> I'm not interested, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm sorry that you're sorry. You have a nice day, man, I'm sorry to bother you. Wow. Man. I can't even get a beautiful African queen, man. Man. Oh. Excuse me? This your car? Yeah, this is one of my cars. Why? Oh, it's nice. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's why I bought it. Yeah, oh, this okay. one of my. Yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can get to know each other, maybe. Your dad got one of these? No. You said I was going to be your dad. I mean, you don't even know how old I am. Uh, so what's your name again, beautiful? My name's Ice. Ice? My name is Damien. Ice, it's nice to meet you. Nice. Beautiful queen. <laughs> Looking good. Where you headed to, Ice? I was just going down the road. You went down I the road? right around the corner over there. Okay, why was you so mean on the sidewalk? Like, you like the African goddess out here and you can't even stop for a second? Yeah, I just, I don't talk to strangers. I just, you know what, yeah. though? I can respect that, though, yeah. because, like, I know women get annoyed. Guys always stopping females. Mm -hmm. And it do kind of get, no, you know, like, really, really annoying and stuff like that. I'm sorry if it came off rude earlier. Oh, you don't have I to apologize to me. Maybe my approach maybe my approach was kind of rude. Sometimes, you know, my approach is not the greatest. And mm -hmm. when I see a beautiful woman, I just kind of get beside myself. So for that, I apologize. So where are you headed to? I was just going home. You going home? Yeah. Okay. Well, you came back. I mean a few minutes yeah you ever been inside a rose west before i haven't would you like to get in for a second and I get out of the seat well come on let me get the door for you okay ice sign with that is that short for something yeah, ice tea oh okay very nice name that's different watch this oh you're so welcome there you go All right I don't know. She seems like a sweetheart, man. She really do. She seems like a straight sweetheart. Okay, okay. You good and comfortable over there? Yeah. Good, good. So tell me about yourself. Like, how old are you? I'm 24. 24? Mm -hmm. You walking around out here single? Like, how did that yeah. happen? I went through a breakup, so you know how that goes. I'm not really, you know, I really want to get into it, but... Sorry for what's up. He must be a bum to let you go. He was. Did he try to fight for you? He didn't. What kind of man is that, man? So tell me about yourself. So where are you from? So I'm from Jersey, but I've been out here for a while, like, probably like 12 years. You from Jersey 12 years? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. I'm not for sure if it's Jersey or Maryland that got like the blue crab, like the, like the, mm -hmm. uh, they like eat the, that like, a lot out there. The blue crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, uh, I got a brother that lived out there. He actually, well, when I, before I moved out here in 2019, he used to send me like boxes of them and stuff. Froze in the forest because they had to come to shipments. But that's what's up, y'all. So you've been out here for 12 years? Mm -hmm. So what you be into? Like, like what type of stuff are you doing? I be working. I be decked out. Like, I just be, you know, vibing. That's what's up. Vibing. That's what's up, <laughs> Ice. So everybody call you Ice? Yeah, that's what my people call me. But you can uh, call me whatever you want. Really? You know, I like the name Ice. I just wish that the ice fit with this weather out here. Yeah, it's so hot. Like, it so is. hot. Yes, we need it's ice. It's like 100 degrees right now. We need people like you, Ice, to cool people like us down. <laughs> See, that's sweat coming off of me. That's chocolate coming off of me right okay. there. Okay. Let me stop. Yeah, we both chocolate. Hey, listen, mm -hmm. hey, that's a good combination. <laughs> it is. Ooh, so, I'm going to ask you a question, Ice. Okay. 
and I want you to just be completely honest with me. No mm-hmm. cat, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I know I'm an older dude, and just keep it real with me. Mm-hmm. So come, so walking down the sidewalk, you know, you kept it a buck. You know, you let me know that you wasn't interested. I'm going to be your dad, and any man should respect that. You mm-hmm. know, but in saying that, what actually made you come back to the bar? And just keep it real. I would not be offended. What made you come back? I'm not gonna lie. This is a nice car. <laughs> it's a head turner. Yeah, yeah, I really like this car. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. It was, you know, I was like, okay, you can take me out to dinner or something. Don't get me wrong. I do appreciate <laughs> your honesty, and I thank you for that because you could have just lied, but you didn't. So since you was honest with me about what made you come back to the car, I'd like to be honest with you about something. Okay. Do you? Uh, so you've been out here for 12 years in Houston. Mm-hmm. Do you carry a cell phone with you? Yeah. And you just like show me. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. So you carry it with you every day? Mm-hmm. Okay, since you've been out here, are you familiar with like an Amber Alert? Yeah. Yeah, like you know, the phone telephone. texting or talking and it's loud, noise go off and stuff. Mm-hmm. That stuff be annoying, don't it? Yeah. A lot of people, they'll just swipe it. Like, it's just an Amber Alert, just ignore it. But um, do you remember anything about any of the Amber Alerts? Like, what was the context of them? What's the meaning of them? Um, not really. I just swipe when it pops up. You don't even know what any of them says or remember anything about what they mean? I mean, they just say like the car, right? Car, people missing, they have mm-hmm. like the license plate. What that is, the Amber Alerts is, is for uh, young people that come up missing, um, which Texas is one of the number one states in the world that's known for human trafficking. And we see those Amber Alerts a lot of times it's because a child has been abducted mm-hmm. um, by someone whether it's the mom or dad or a strange husband or a strange wife or just a total stranger. A lot of times when we see those Amber Alerts, we think it only pertains to kids, but it don't. It actually pertains to adults as well. Like you, 24 years old, mm-hmm. a lot of the adults don't get reported because we're older. They feel like we're just adults. We just don't want to be found. But a lot of times it's not the case. We're actually missing. People use cars like this, jury, blocks of money to lure young, beautiful people like you into their cars and what happens is they drug you up they take you to different countries they prostitute you out and eventually they kill you you got loved ones at home family members who love you and stuff mm-hmm. it would be really hurtful for one of your family members to wake up one day and realize that you were missing people searching for you just to never find you again that would hurt your loved ones wouldn't it mm-hmm. it would hurt the people who care about you the most mm-hmm. and a lot of people like they just ignore the flags. The reason why I'm talking to you about this is because when we were on the sidewalk, you did the right thing. You let me know, get out my face in so many words. You let me know that you wasn't interested. You let me know that I wasn't your type. But for the same reason, you came back to the car. And what I want to ask you is, what do you plan on doing with your life? Do you plan on starting your education in the future? Yeah, I'm going to finish college. That is wonderful. You are a beautiful black young queen your whole life is ahead of you your whole life and nobody deserves to have a right to take your life from you or disrespect you mm-hmm. you forward your education because we need more people like you in this world we need more people like this in the universe you know so the next time when there was a lambert or, or amber alert come across your phone even if you don't look at it just remember i talked to this guy named damien and he asked me would i share this with somebody because you sharing what I can share with you could potentially change somebody's life. Most importantly, you could potentially save somebody's life. Stop somebody from getting into a stranger's car, getting drugged up and took out of the country. These people don't care about us. They don't care about me or you. I'm beautiful. Hi. What's your name? I have a man. You have a Sorry. man. Everybody got a man. I ain't got yeah. none. What's your name? I can't tell you. Can I, you got Instagram? No. Nothing? I can't even, can I, can I, can I, can I walk with you? No, sorry. Sorry for bothering you. You have a nice day. Jeez. He denied me all access with a quickness. Excuse me, you talking to me? Yeah. What's up? Is that your car? I can't hear you, come over here. Is that your car? Uh, yeah, yeah, why? Come over here. I like cars. You like cars? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, I mean, I like cars too. I mean, I'm glad okay. that you like my car. Yeah, I appreciate the compliment. I mean, so you like these, huh? Yeah. You ever been inside one of these before? No. 
See, if you wouldn't have curved me like that, you probably would have had a chance to get up. But I don't want to. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. I don't I don't want to hold you up because I know that you got a man and all that no, stuff. I don't got but a man. I was lying. You was lying? Yeah. But why would you lie, though? I mean, I was being friendly, right? Yeah, but you know, sometimes people are weird. You got to be careful. Do I, oh, I probably look like one of them weird dudes to you, huh? A oh, little. Step over here for a second. This is like, I really got to eat you. Step right here. So, so. So you said that it's weird, like a lot of guys it's weird, a lot yeah. of guys that you meet is weird? Yeah. So did I give you, I mean, maybe that was kind of weird, right? Just a little. Well, all I said was hi and actually yeah. your name. I mean, you're a beautiful lady, so don't you like Thank compliments? You. I mean, yeah. so why didn't you embrace that compliment? I mean, that was a nice compliment. It was, it was. And you, you know, just like, I, I ain't I got nothing. I apologize. All right. Let me see if I accept your apology. Hold on a second. Let me think for a second. Okay, what's your name? Coco. Coco, my name is Daniel. Nice to meet you, Coco. So who was you headed to? Um, just me and a friend. Okay, well you looking really nice with that yellow on. Thank you. Ooh, well, since she was so rude to me, can I get a little spin around, Coco? Okay, okay, okay. Can Coco do a little bounce with it? I mean, do a shake? Yeah. Oh, it do shake, it do shake. Hey, yeah. thank you for that. So, so what you say you was headed to? Okay, I mean, I don't want to hold you up for stuff because. No, she can wait. Oh, it's a female? Yeah. You almost had me nervous. I thought he was going to be like, yo, dude, so you ain't married or nothing? No. Okay, you want to get in and talk for a second? Sure. I mean, you ever been inside one of these? Nope. Okay, so I'm guessing I got to open the door. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, I remember my first time in one of these. I had to have somebody open the door for me because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anything about what I was doing. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch your step when you get in. I break the fingernail, so. Maybe I can teach school. Oh, you good. You good. You gonna make it? Get your hair in there. There you go. We good? Okay, okay. There you go. Go digger. Straight up. Straight up. So you comfortable up in here, Coco? Yeah, it's cute. But girl, you looking good up in here too, Coco. Yeah. Your first time inside a Lambo? Yep. Okay, okay. So like, so what you be into, Coco? Like, like, what do you be doing down here? Um, right now, I just you know, I shoot adult movies and stuff like that. You shoot adult movies? Yeah. Like, be a little bit more specific. Like X videos. Type oh, movies. you do that porn thing? Yeah. You shoot them, or you're actually in the video? I'm actually in the video. Oh, you and they're getting... <laughs> oh, you and they're getting pounded. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Wow, yeah. that's cool. I mean, like, you like it? That's fun. That's cool. I mean, you get to experience, like, different... Yeah. You know, yeah. length, sizes, and... Wow, wow. Yeah. That's, that's So that's, that's, that's like what you do for, like, a hobby or, like, a career? No, my career. It's, it's pretty good money. Yeah, very good. Wow, I never met anybody who, you know, <laughs> you know, for a living like that. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that for a living. I mean, if, wow, so like you make a lot of money, like. Yeah, it's cool pay. It pays the bills. Man, I need to get into something like that. Like me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> me being the giver, not the receiver. Yeah. Me giving the injections yeah. to the injection site. Okay. Okay. So is that all that you be doing? Yeah, I do hair here and there. Okay. And so you there. think that you can do something with this right here? No, I can't. Sorry. Oh, I man. probably, like, you know, put the little lace to pay on there. Okay, 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 okay. So um, what made you turn around and stuff? I mean, because it's like, I was, like, feeling you, man. Like, you, you beautiful coming up the sidewalk and stuff. You dress nice and stuff. Them fingernails is dangerous. I mean, at least they not sharp and pointed, though. No, no, no. Can't okay. do those ones. Okay. So what made you turn around? I mean, you have a cool car. I wanted to get to know you. Maybe you could teach me more about cars. Cool car. So that's all it was? Just a car? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a nice guy? Yeah, you're pretty nice. Okay. So it was the car that made you turn around. So at this point, what do you think of the car? I mean, it's cute. It looks like a Batmobile. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Yeah, man, that color, is that yellow or gold? Yellow. I'm going to just say yellow. It's it like almost, probably a mix. It almost looked gold. Yeah. You know what would be dope with that? If you put a handle with it, like, now that would be dope with yeah. it. Yeah. You could call it, like, a gold outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With a gold mm -hmm. shovel. You're right. 
or you can call it like a gold digger. A gold digger. Yeah, because they, I mean, that's what gold diggers do. They what like walk, mean? like they see a guy, they feel like that the guy is walking and he don't have nothing to offer. But then when they see his car, they let the gold diggers come out of him. So but we know that that's not you, right? Because because you ain't a gold digger, is you? Are you, are you calling me a gold digger? I mean, are you a gold digger? You seem no, like one. No, not at all. I mean, you taking all this right no. here, and then you see my car, no. and you turn around, and mm. now you're interested, right? Now you're interested in me. Something like that. Wow, that's messed up right there. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. So, if you don't think that's gold diggers, like, what is it then? You think Maybe that's? Maybe it's just doubling back, seeing you know, I might miss my blessing. Double in the back, huh? Yeah. I see. Oh, hey, beautiful. How you doing? What's your name? Oh, my. Excuse me? I can't even hear you. I'm not your type. So, what's your type? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, people got to eat, don't they? What's your name? Uh, you got MySpace or something? Uh-uh. I live under a rock. You live under a Oh, you don't do that? Are you married? You got a man or something? No. Can I get your phone number then? Can yeah, you? I'm sorry. Am I too fat or something? Or is it the McDonald's? You, I'm a, you out here with a McDonald's outfit on. That's because I just got off work and I'm actually headed to go to my other job. I work two jobs. I just like trying to meet some friends, that's all. And you look very beautiful too. Thank you. So I can't even get your name, huh? No, no. I'm, my name is Chanel. I'm Damien. See, there we go. Like, oh, we your fingers are soft. No wedding ring print or nothing. Okay, well, I know that you got stuff going on. Got the little flat stomach going on and stuff, so I'm sorry. Oh, you, you working out? I work out. Mm, I can tell. I can tell. You a heartbreaker, too. Well, I know I'm not your type, so I'm sorry to bother you. So you take care of yourself. You too. All right, all right. Yeah, I am going to have a good walk. You too. Stay cool. That's a good walk, Mark. I bet you I'm not walking. Whew. Uh. Excuse me? Where are you going? Is this your car? Is this my car? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of my cars. Why? What? How do you get this car? You work at McDonald's. Oh, I get this not working at McDonald's. Easy. I, actually, like I said, I just got off. I'm going to head to another one. And I don't actually just work at McDonald's. I actually own three McDonald's. I don't right. just... I don't watch my employees work. I like to get right there on the floor with them at work so I get dressed just like they do. Okay. Yeah, but I know that you got something to do. I don't want to hold you up and stuff. Wow, yes, I am. Hmm. Yeah, so what was you headed to? I know that you got to go. I don't want to be slowing you down. Yeah. Oh, what? I was going to go get my nails done, but. You're not going to go now? No. We just talked. Oh, okay. Talk with you. You new around here? Yes, I am. I've been here for like a couple of years. Yeah, me but too, uh, that's okay. it. We can learn some things together. Oh, you want to learn some things with me? Yeah. You ever been inside of Rose before? No. You want to get I've in? I've never seen it before. Let me get it. I mean, can I check you out real quick? I got a little spin. Oh. I mean, I am a man. Oh, my God. Is that all you or is that like <laughs> surgery and stuff? That's all me. How your stomach be so flat like that? I told you I work out. Four times a week. I need and to I don't work. eat no carbs, straight water. Hmm, I'm kind of fat too. I need to start working out. Hamburgers <laughs> and french fries. Oh, come on, let me get this door for you. Uh-uh, come on around this way. It's bad luck to go around that way. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Get the door for you, beautiful. All right. There you go. You gotta be a gentleman. You know these guys don't wanna be gentlemen. You like what you see? Yeah, you gotta be a gentleman out here in these streets. She came back, bro. Hmm. Imagine that. See what she about, though. Okay. You good and comfortable? Mm -hmm. Put that air up and stuff. This feels a lot better in here than it feels out there, don't it? Okay. Got the stars in the ceiling. Yeah. And if you look really close, you will actually see them falling. Just like the stars oh at night. So, oh So, this your first time in one of these for real? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, first so. Time for everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> obviously, how old are you? I'm 32. Okay. I only, I only got you by 20 years. What? Well, 20 when I just turned 53 about two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've never dated that one. Mm. Knowing that old. <laughs> that old. 
But you can be a little sugar daddy, you know? Something. Mm-hmm. A little sugar daddy, so, <laughs> like, I mean, what, I mean, like, like, yeah. what's a little sugar daddy? I, I'm, I ain't never heard of little, I, I, all, all I heard is sugar no, daddy. I've never like heard. Look at you, big baller. <laughs> you got him going crazy, huh? That's my daughter. Nah, he trying to see where all that thickness is at right now. <laughs> well, tell me about yourself a little bit. I mean, you say that you're looking for a little, oh, you said I could be a little sugar daddy? Like, what does a mm. little sugar daddy do? Because there ain't nothing about me little. Mm. They call me Mr. Meatloaf, to be honest with you. Like, you know, we go out, get me a new little bag, we go shopping. Like, you could be a big sugar daddy, though. Like, you just try daddy. to take care of me. Mm. I mean, you got this nice car. Yeah, that comes from hard work right there. Like I said, you know, I moved out here a few years ago and I followed my dreams after COVID and all that good stuff. But skip all that stuff. So let me ask you something. What's your name again? Tamika? <laughs> Chanel. 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 Just like the bag, Chanel. Yes. So, I like to have a couple Chanel bags. Okay. So I want to ask you an honest question, Chanel. Oh, you say you like to have a couple bags. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> listen to you. So I want you to be 100% honest with me. Don't hold back. I want you to be a whole buck with me because I'm being honest with you. What really made you turn around and come back? The car. Oh, okay. You came back because you seen the car. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I ain't never been in a uh, Rolls Royce before. First time for everything, right? Yeah. Imagine that stars in the ceiling. Imagine how it looks like, at night inside this car. <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. I just bought this actually. You did. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. So since she was honest with me about what you, what what really made you come back, and don't get me wrong, Chanel, I do appreciate your honesty, but I want to be honest with you about something. You carry a cell phone, obviously, because your daughter didn't blowing you up. Mm -hmm. right? You ever heard of uh, Amber Alerts before? Like, it's like it's not, your phone make this loud noise mm -hmm. while you talking or texting. It's like, yeah. Eh. I get them all the time. Yeah. Do you turn them off or do you read it? I turn them off. Why? Don't even answer that because a lot of people <laughs> turn them off. But let me ask. Let me, it's annoying. <laughs> what do you remember about the Amber Alerts? Like, do you remember anything about any, just any one of them? Like, what was the context of, of the alert? Mm, like a child missing child missing child abduction mm -hmm. kidnapping so that's what this is about right here i want to talk to you about human trafficking and don't be scared because i'm not <laughs> going to do anything i know that sounds weird but you said that what drew you back to my car what drew you back to me was the car a lot of times human trafficking young people don't realize that they don't just kidnap kids and babies. They kidnap people your age too, 25, 30 years old. They mm -hmm. take you to different countries. They prostitute you out wow. and stuff like that. And a lot of times how a lot of people get kidnapped and lured into these cars is by people see the fancy car or a bunch of jewelry and they figure, well, this is a good opportunity for me and mm -hmm. something end up bad happening. And the reason why I know you wasn't expecting this the reason why I'm telling you this, Chanel, is because you seem like a very beautiful woman. Mm. You got kids? Mm -hmm. I have just a daughter, one daughter. Okay, if I may ask, how old is she? She's nine. She's nine? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have your, your mom and other siblings in your life? Mm-hmm. That, yeah. is, that is awesome. And, you know, the last thing I want is, like, your daughter, she may have a phone, because a lot of kids have phones, or your mom, dad, your brother, sisters, aunties, or uncles get an Amber Alert on their phone, and next Amber Alert could be you and it could devastate your family your wow. baby your daughter because a lot of those people trust me when you get that amber alert chanel it's not a good ending it's not always mm -hmm. a good ending they don't yeah. always find you what's up why you say uh -uh? what was that about do you have some money for me you talking to me yeah you said do i have some money for you i mean you come to talk to me so i'm just speaking to you it's a beautiful out here. Why not I don't speak? want to be talked to unless you're talking to me about some money. I think that dress you look that, that you got on is fire. Well, I don't think you look good enough. And are these even real? Mm. Am I being punked? No. Uh, Am I getting punked? No. Mm. You have IG? No. Do, hold on. You got, oh, do, cool. You got Instagram? The, no. Do you want me to call the cops on you? Call the cops on me for what? I'm just trying to be nice to you. Uh, I don't speak to nobody unless they're talking about some money. You gonna call the cops on me for real? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to bother you. Okay. You take care of yourself. You have a beautiful day. Wow. She said she's gonna call the cops on me. I ain't never seen no crazy shit like this in my life, bro. She's gonna call the cops on me. <laughs> this is your car? 
This is your car? Yeah, this is my car. Why? Wow, oh. I was asking. Oh, well, I like that. Uh, let me step off for a second. Did you call the cops on me? <laughs> no. Why are you so rude? Or I mean, like, like, why are you so rude well, to I, me? Well, you got some money. Well, I think you have some money. We don't know if it's rented, but I guess we'll see. Why everything gotta be about money? Step what over here mean? for a second. It's traffic. Like, like, why everything gotta be about Life money? Life is about money. I was speaking to you on the side. Money makes me happy. Wouldn't I make you happy? So you need to make me happy with some money. I mean, don't you feel like that it's better ways to, no. like, a, did not approach you like no. a gentleman? No. I didn't approach you like a gentleman no. just now? No. So money makes you happy. That's all you care about is money? Yes. What about love, friendship? What is that? What is that going to do for me? So you're not married? You got a boyfriend? No, I don't need none of that. You don't need none of it? Mm -mm. I just need money. Like, tell me your story. Like, did something bad happen to you no. or something? Do you have a bad day? No, I have a great day every day. I asked you earlier for your IG, you gonna call 911 on me. So can you make that up to me? Can I get a little spin from you? Yes. Just so, just because you were so rude. Yes. I mean, do it bounce or jiggle? Yes. <laughs> oh. So where you was headed to? To go get some drinks with my friends. You mind if I wanna um, holler at you for a second? I guess, so but she was we so, don't have to see. I mean, you ever, you ever been inside one of these before? No, but this will be a first. I mean, if you're all about money, then you know how to make money. You might be my type of girl, because I'm about trying to make money, too. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. let me open the door for you. Okay, thank you. Got you. You got me a little nervous. You got a brother <laughs> sweating a little bit, talking oh. about money. You good, comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. What the? Bro. Money, money, money. Are you sure you didn't call the police on me? Yep. <laughs> okay. I see. I hear the police in the background coming. Let me turn the air on. You'll right. be fine. Yeah. So you so, said that you're going to get something to drink? This is not rented. My vehicle? Mm hmm. No. This is yours. You must have messed with a lot of lame dudes in your lifetime. You came Never. across a lot of lames. They're just trying to facade. You had to mess with lames. Just the way that you came at me, like you have a bunch of fake dudes approaching you, acting like mm -hmm. they got it. So I just need to make sure you're about that money because that's what I'm about. I mean, what's your name? Snow. Snow? Mm-hmm. I'm Damien Snow. Mm. Wow. Mm. And where you from, Snow? Houston. You born and raised there? Mm-hmm. I can tell. I can tell because <laughs> you got that. Let me see your Rolex. Let me see. Is this real? Mm-hmm. We're, we don't have to see about that. Is it real? You don't have to see. It's, it's right there. Bust down. Mm. 100% real. 50K. You know how they do these days. How who do? Like, no, mm -hmm. tell me, Snow. How who do? Like, is this mm -hmm. how these, that's how these Houston cats are? Mm -hmm. Well, I got a little news for you, Snow. I'm not, I live in Houston, but I'm not from here. I'm from mm -hmm. Indiana. Oh, okay. And we real out like there. We don't be doing that fake stuff. Oh, okay. That's what I like. All I'm saying though is that you seem like that you done been heartbroken, let down, never, some never, disappointment. I mean, never. You, so you saying that you ain't had many disappointments? No, I'm just I about my money. So like, I just want to make sure you're on that too. <laughs> Bro, you was about to call the cops on me just okay. because I was trying to be nice and friendly. Mm -hmm. How do you listen? All of us is well. Not I'm in your car, aren't I now? So we can go past that. All <laughs> of us is not the same out here. So mm, they all say that. So what type of stuff do you like to do, Mrs. Snow? Oh, go eat delicious food, go make money, go make money, go make money, go get money, go on trips. Uh, what else? Live a fancy lifestyle. What do you like to do? I mean, I'm a businessman. I like to I like to buy old buildings and break them down and mm. part them out, sell them in sections and stuff like that. We're going to have to see about that. We? Oui. Mm-hmm. Snow, can you, you snow? I'm feeling you. I'm, I mean, that dress is banging. I'm feeling you. I am. But can you bring it down with the money thing a lot? Everything no. have to be about money. Yes, always. We shouldn't be talking about money until two or three years down the line. Two or three. We need to talk about it today. The first hour. The first <sighs> second. How much money is you talking about though? Like, let me see that bank account. Actually, I need to see your debit card. Let me see, cause I love to spend. Let's go shopping. Am I being? I would love to have me one of these also. We could be twenty. 
You said that you see my debit card. Husband and wife. <laughs> ah, Husband if you're and... spending enough, yeah. Listen, no. How much? Like, like, like. What? It's like. What do you like to do for fun, Snow? I mean, like, you like to go to the lake, to the beach, like, have a glass of wine. Trips, and Dubai, Paris, Italy, all that, you know. Everything is about money, right? Yes. I mean, how about starting off with a nice little dinner or something, going for a walk in the park late at night, you know. Mastro's. Like, Mastro's. <laughs> that's like five stars, isn't it? Hey. So you want to do that right off I'm the gate? I'm a five star. You might as well. A five star what? Jesus Christ! You you, you uh you have any kids? No. No, no kids. How old are you? Old enough. You know, I'm really trying to really get to know you, Snow. I I just feel like you know you just like not matching my energy right now. Okay, that's okay. I don't need you. What the? F uh. You, you, um, what made you turn around, Snow? Like when we was walking and you. I seen that money. I seen this car, but it's probably rented, so I don't care at this point. If you're not trying to spend no money, I don't care. Um, I, you think that me and you can start over? Like I feel like no. It, is it that kind no. of no no no? Hi. Hey, you got some spare change? I'm just trying to get something, a bottle of water and a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You, you sure? Mm hmm Thank you. That was that was very nice of you. A lot of people don't even stop to even acknowledge me. Why, like, what made you stop? Like, nobody, nobody stops to help me. I mean, nobody. I mean, you are in the sidewalk, so kind of in my way, but... Oh, I, mean, no, I apologize. You're good, you're good, but you sure? I just have what I have, so I don't mind helping others. Wow, like I'm, I didn't take your last change, but I. No, no, you're good. You're good. Man, that is really sweet. I got this trash can. I, I don't like. Wow, you like so many people like walk past me like I'm. Can you help? Oh, you help me up? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. You good? Yeah. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. I gotta get my. You wanna like bring on the trash can? I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? Jess. Jess? Yeah. My name's Dan. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you too. So why would you, like, why would you stop and help me out? Like, why are you not treating me like other people treat me? I feel like whatever good karma you put into the world is what you get out. Wow. I really appreciate this. this I wish a, I had more. That's just what I had my whole thing. If you had more, you would give me more. Yeah. But why? Like, why? Why? I mean, why? I don't, I don't understand. It's just good karma. If I'm blessed, I'd like to bless others. I remember when I was in a position, I used to bless people mm -hmm. and, you know, things really changed for me where I'm really unable to bless anyone. I have to, you know, beg and stuff. And I'm not very proud of it because it's not something I'm so used to giving to people. Mm -hmm. And it's like now, and it's like, I feel like all I do is take. You know, and I feel bad about it. At one point, I was there. I was helping people out. Mm -hmm. I was blossoming, blessing people. And now it's like, they just look down on me. How did you get into this, this position? Well, I'm gonna say this right here. People treat me like trash mm -hmm. and I feel inadequate. I feel like trash. And that's why I sit next to this trash. Mm -hmm. Years ago, when the pandemic hit, you yeah. know, the pandemic, that, 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 COVID, yeah. that yeah, the COVID, yeah, I heard a lot of people. And during the time I had a real estate, prominent, successful mm -hmm. real estate business. I, I used to be, uh, I used to work for a tent company and then I got laid off because of COVID. Wow. And then things just went downhill. Mm -hmm. Like my wife left me, mm -hmm. lost my house, foreclosed my business. Everybody that worked for me, I was the boss. They just went away from me. They stopped believing in me, but I didn't stop believing in myself. Sometimes I stay out here really late at night and the people come out you in the live mess. out here? Right there. But That's they, where you sleep? Yeah, but they come out and they make me leave at nighttime. Yeah. And it's like 25, 30 degrees. And it's, it's just really bad. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I'm moving into like, like a four bedroom house. I have like space. If you want to like spend there like a month there or whatever to like get on your feet. 
Wait a minute. You're offering to help me with a place to stay? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to cry. That's okay. <laughs> you, you're going to really help me out with a place to stay? Yeah. This is unbelievable. Why? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, Why? I don't know. My, my family always told me, like, be the change. It's like a Gandhi quote, right? <laughs> be the change that you want to see in the world. So I feel like any change in life that I can be in somebody else's life, I feel like it's going to work out well for me. So. Thank you for helping me out. I appreciate it. I don't want to do that. I just want to just say thank you for this change. Mm -hmm. Your heart is just too big. I want to say thank you for taking your time to even acknowledge me mm -hmm. and being who you are. Please keep being who you are, okay? I I stank a little bit, but thank you. It's okay. Ah, uh, your fingers, you you definitely do good for yourself. Thank you. Gold everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Will you take care of yourself? Of course, you too. All right, thank you. I got something I want to tell you. You got another minute? Yeah. <sighs> well, I actually lied. That's not a good trait. I was trying to see if there were still genuine people out here in the world. Yeah. A lot of times you see people sitting by the trash can. All the time, especially here in Houston. And they got a cup out asking for money. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, they either walk past them or they drive past them and look at them like they relevant or they don't exist. Mm -hmm. But you didn't do that. You had an opportunity to keep walking, but you didn't. You yeah. stopped and gave me money out of your hand. Mm -hmm. You offered me a place to stay when you get your four bedroom house yeah. to a perfect stranger that you don't even know to see me get back on my feet. Mm -hmm. That is huge, man. That is huge. Of course. And I was, I, I want to say and thank you. And I'll do it you. again. And you would do it again? Yeah. Well, I want to say this right here. Uh -huh. I'm not homeless. Okay. This is actually my Lamborghini right here. Really? Believe me? Not really. Uh, not by me. just like looking at you, you know what I mean? That's actually my Lamborghini. Really? That is mine. All of it. Yes, ma'am. Do you have like the keys or like? Yes, I do. Would you like me to let you check it out? Sure. Like I said, and I want to talk to you to let you know what's going on here. Was it just unlocked like or? It's mine. Oh, okay. Step in. Look I don't it. know if I'm afraid of them there Try to it. be completely honest. Try it. No, it's okay. You sure? I can look at it. Okay. But I'm going to tell you about it anyway. My, my uh, shirt matches it though, so. So again, like I said, I was doing a test because so many people, they look down on homeless people. They do. And we need to bring awareness to that. You did not look down on me. You were able to help me out and go above and beyond, which mm -hmm. again, you didn't have to. You could have just threw me some change, kept walking, or you could not, didn't have to throw me nothing, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say thank you for that. Of course. A lot of blessings coming your way. And I wish the world was full of more people like you. Hey, how are you? Hi, I wonder if you got some spare change, please. Oh. Trying to get something to I eat. Mean, I don't have my wallet, my purse. Anything. I think I got like a couple of dollars. Nickels, dimes, pennies, anything to help. I'm just yeah, trying to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Give I them, mean, give them something. Because I know how it is to, you know, something from someone yeah. to get to the next level. Yeah. What's your story? What, what happened? What Are you guys serious? Y'all really yeah. want to know? You give me money and you really want to know my story? I mean, yeah, because it's just, it, it hurts me to see somebody on the street, you know, especially yeah. a handsome guy like you. Yeah. Like, what's going on? What happened? Well, I'm just down on my luck. I had a business at one time and I kind of fell off and stuff. What, what was the business that you were doing? Wow, uh, you mind if I get up? Yeah, I, no, I yeah. feel so rude. You need just, some help? Oh, thank you so much. I might get it. Thank yeah, you. That's the least we could. Yeah. Oh, the, wow. This is so nice. I'm man. so sorry. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 get his money. You don't want his money to fall. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, do you mind walking? Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I appreciate uh, okay, it. So, okay. wow, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Are you guys are twins? One of you guys said that I look like a handsome looking man. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think that was me, but it don't. Was her. Oh, oh. You are you are oh, handsome, and I, I did, did want to you know know your story. This is incredible. Are we the first ones to stop today? Yes, you guys are the first ones. Wow. I actually um I had a successful real estate business, and then like the people who work for me, I had a really really bad streak of luck. And they wow. didn't believe in me no more. And everybody walked away from me. And I ended up getting my home foreclosed on. Oh and 
goodness. You don't have no wife or kids? This right here is your family. This, this right here is a step of belief, a step of faith that you can do anything. Like, just yeah. keep hustling, keep putting your mind to it, keep grinding. Like, I'm a motivational person, so I have mm -hmm. to tell you, like, your situation now will not be your situation later. And she's right, because we came from nothing. Don't ever think it's too late. I really appreciate what yeah, you Yeah, no problem. No, can yeah, I just I hope please get a hug? Thing. Just I'm, I'm a little dirty. Or just a handshake. Thank you so much. For, <laughs> I can, we can do like a handshake. Yeah. I mean, I know I kind of smell a little bad. Yeah. You know, I'm just kind of hard on my luck. Okay. I'm just kind of like, oh, man. Hold on a second. You guys like know where a restroom at around here? I got to use the restroom um, really bad. I mean, it might be like over there. I mean, they you have to walk yeah, a little far. Street, Did you need like a ride or anything? Or? I'm in disbelief. This has never happened. I've been out here for four hours. Well, I know. Let's, well, let's get you to a restroom. That's, yeah, let's you gotta use the restroom, right? Yeah, I do. I got a boo-boo, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. Excuse me, can I ask you guys just, just one little, just please, please, I'm sorry. I know, I'm being really rude. Can, can you come here for a second, please? Please. Because you guys already gave me all of you guys' this time over there, and I think that that's awesome. But I do have something that I want to tell you, beautiful ladies. What's your name, you by the way? the restroom? No, not You're yet. You're supposed to be on the oh. way to the restaurant. Well, I will, but what's your right, guys' name? Well, my name is Aaliyah. Aaliyah? And I'm Talia, and together we are the, the Double Vision Twins. Wow. Well, my yeah. name is Damien. Oh, okay. okay. Damien? I'm not really homeless. So what are you? Well, actually, why are you playing outside like this? Actually, we 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 was trying to be genuine. We were trying to help you out. Do you? This really is a prank. No, ma'am, I don't need it. I want to tell you guys something. I was trying to see, like, I'm new here to Texas, mm -hmm. and I've been trying to meet new people. And right. everybody that I meet, they always use me, and they come off as gold diggerish. And stuff diggers. like that and so i wanted to see what two fine women stop and help me out this is yeah, actually really genuine that car that you're leaning on that carbon fiber this is actually my lamborghini oh. i wanted to see if you would stop and help me out just for me this is nice so do we get to ride in your lambo i mean i want y'all to get inside oh. this is only a two-seater so they're gonna have to lap up is oh, that a problem i don't think that'll be a problem yeah, I think I we think can work. Sorry, I had to get y'all like that. Please don't break one of those beautiful fingernails. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> y'all good. Make it happen. Y'all good. Y'all good. Wow, that's amazing. They actually stopped to help your boy out, man. This is a two-seater for real. Oh, man. I, I don't mean, want to hold y'all. I, I bet you like us sitting like this. Dude. I ain't going to even lie, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all, oh, man. Wow. Damien, you play way too, too much. See, you Damien, we got to get out this car. I, okay. I can't even. I'm going to let y'all out, but I, I just want to say this right here. You know, I have people that's always approaching me and they see what I have, they use me. You ladies mm -hmm. stopped and seen me on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. sitting down, ripped yeah. up shirt, dirt mm -hmm. everywhere, and mm -hmm. you guys still stopped and talked to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still gave me the time of y'all day. And I want to yeah. say I really appreciate that, man. Absolutely, of course. We, we don't mind helping, you know, anything. Always, the whatever. The littlest thing can take you a long way. I'm going to say this right here. Y'all yes. both are absolute. Y'all twins, but y'all yes. are wife material. Thank but I want to say thank you both for stopping and giving me the time. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to let you out, man. I really so appreciate it. Beautiful. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hold on. Let me call you back. I'm good. How you doing? I'm What's good. your name? I'm, I'm Damien. Lauren. You Lauren? Call me Lo. Lo? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Lo. I'm Damien. Nice to meet you. Where you headed to looking all beautiful? Uh, I'm going out for brunch. Brunch? Yeah, brunch? Oh. Girls. oh, hey, this is a good day to is hang it? out I've for brunch. I've never been out here before. It's my first time. Oh, in Houston? Yes. or just? Yeah, I'm visiting. Oh, wow. You visited from where? Uh, St. Louis. Wow. Mm -hmm. You on point. You got the right height, tall, beautiful. I love to hear that. Thank I you. mean, I appreciate you stopping, talking to me. I mean, I was just out here just kind of just trying to find something to do today. And well, I seen you walking out. Are you busy? You want to come? We got a whole group. We got a section. Wow. Really? Yeah. I mean, wow. It's okay. I don't judge. You good. Let's go. Oh, you really let me go out with you yeah. and eat with you and, and your girls? Yeah. You wouldn't be. I mean, it's, it's girls and guys, but yeah. And you wouldn't even be embarrassed. From what? Be because how I'm dressed and stuff. And oh, I worked at McDonald's. Okay? You worked at McDonald's before? <laughs> oh my God! Um, you gotta excuse me because I was totally not expecting this right here. No, I met honestly some of my best friends from McDonald's. Like honestly, it's it's a good environment. It's really overrated what people say about it. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. You know, I'm actually tripping me because this was not something I was expecting. I do like experiments and stuff just to see like how people would treat me. Experience. Like, yeah, like how people would treat me, you know, dressed with FUBU's on and a McDonald's shirt and hat and stuff just to see like, and most people, especially beautiful women, they would even stop me and even look at me or even give me the time of day. But you stopped, invited me and like, 
that's just crazy. That's never happened before. This is crazy. I've never. Uh, oh my god! What? Wow. I mean, you I'm got, so confused. Like you're testing me right now. Uh, actually, it was supposed to be, but it kind of backfired me. Are you busy? Like really? Like do you, do you got like five minutes or something? What? Yeah, we could talk. You mind if we sit in the car and talk? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Wow, this is crazy. This never happened. This is actually my uh, Lamborghini right here. You're lying. No, actually, it is. This so is do my... you work at McDonald's or? Mm, to be honest with you, I actually own McDonald's. I actually own three of them franchise. Oh, look at you doing good for yourself. Yeah. Yes, this oh. is really mine. You ever oh, been in love... one before? No. No, this is SVJ. <laughs> what? This is the SVJ. Okay. I'm actually going to open the door for you. Yeah, this is really mine. She's probably like, yeah, all right. Uh, it's not. Here come the police. No, I'm oh, just kidding. God. No, it's, have me running. No, it's mine. It's oh, mine. Thank you. You're so welcome. Be careful getting in. You good? I know it's kind of uh, yeah. small, isn't it? Wow. I was not expecting that right there. Holy cow. You comfortable over there? It's kind of a tight space. <laughs> I'm so a little I tall. I don't actually drive this one every day. I actually drive my other one. What but, do you have? Oh, I got, well, I actually got the new Hummer, the 23 Hummer EV. Okay. I got the new uh, AMG wagon. Well, actually, it's the 22 AMG wagon and a couple others. You know, mm -hmm. that's, but you no, know, you asked me out there that do I, how long I work to McDonald's? I actually own McDonald's. So, yeah, it's, yeah. I actually, so you're just out here testing people? Well, like I said, it was an experience because like a lot of people like me, like work every day, you know, I, you know, like me wearing this shirt and the McDonald's outfit, you know, being an owner, I don't just bark orders at my employees or watch them work. I'm actually right there with them. And to be honest with you, some of the people at some of the McDonald's I own, they don't even know I actually am the boss. Oh, like because, the undercover boss show. That's yeah, awesome. because I just kind of just just be normal i don't act like i'm better than nobody but this yes it was experiments but this one took me by surprise you actually literally stopped and talked to me so tell me about yourself like what do you do oh i actually own my so i have three jobs actually but my Th me three yes so i just graduated not too long ago and i you know i kind of am experience experiencing where i want to live and i came to here up here to visit here to see if i wanted to live here i really like it but i work one of my best, I actually own my own business. Wow. <laughs> like, wow. Do, yeah, so I do lash extensions, but I also like sell the products for it online. You own your own business yes. and you actually sell the products. Yes. Yeah, so to hear you saying you have two or how many? Three. Three. three, three, three yeah, that's, that's amazing Holy to see. Holy cow. Doing that. This is crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting this. You got Instagram? Yeah. yeah. You mind if we follow each other? Yeah. Oh my you God. Ready? I'm going to uh, tell you about it. Yeah, you know what? Yes. All right. It's L O. Hold on. Let me let me try to get in. Wait. L O. Yeah. L O. L O. Marie. M A R. A R. I E. I E. X. X. Mm hmm. Twenty two. Twenty two. Wow. Which one is Okay. So. I'm not like too much on Instagram. L O. You can get me on there. L O M A R I E X. 22. Yes. So I'm guessing that's how old you are, 22? No, I'm 23. You, you 23? That's just my numbers. Okay, I see yeah, it. Low. Favorite numbers. Entrepreneur, CEO. Wow. <laughs> it's not even cap. Wow. So can I ask you something? Yeah. Uh, Low, like, like, most people see me, like, as a hardworking man. Like, you know, like, with you being new out here in Houston, I don't know if you noticed it because you probably haven't been here long enough, but I noticed, like, guys... It's like hard working men who works every day. And it's like, it's hard for men like me to get a really pretty woman to even stop and talk to them if I'm in a full uniform or they feel like that I don't meet up to the standards. Like, so what made you even like, you were so nice to me and so polite and it's just so different. I never had that happen before. Um, I like to not judge people on how they're raised. Everyone has their own past. A lot of my friends have their own past, but as long as you make your life how you want it to be and are not judgmental on other people, like you're not going to have karma. Like I, I, I believe karma is a big thing. So if I were to judge you based on your outfit, first wow. off, that would make me look like 
person per se and then i mean are you always this nice and polite to I people tr- i try to be but uh you know if they're not they're acting a certain way to me then I, you know i just walk away it's, it's not my worth my time of day to start an argument or to come at people or that's crazy i'm not gonna risk my energy and how i'm feeling on somebody else that's crazy because most people like you know i have stopped and talked to a few people and it's like they were just like they treated me like the worst piece of garbage it's, it was all because of my work uniform and all i said was hi Hello, but you greeted me with oh, a I smile. I worked there before. Like, I, I give you her worked at McDonald's? I told you that, yeah. Yes, you did. And it's not even a bad place to work, No, is it? it's not that. I mean, it's a start like for I, most people who's yeah. getting their first job. It definitely was my first job. But like I said, I'm still such good friends with a lot of people. I, that I'm is. And, 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 and you don't look down on them or No, because they're all doing good with their lives. They're happy. As long that as you're is, happy, I'm going to be happy. That is wild. You know, <laughs> I know that you invited me to hang out with you and your friends. And I really honestly appreciate that. I'm going to decline it right now because I actually have something to do. But I would like to ask you this. You mind if I hit you up on Instagram sometime oh God, and we go have hang my out? Number. I'm not too active on Instagram, but you got my number. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Go, do something. Go get some food. What do you like to eat? Whatever that you like to eat. I mean, I'm, I like seafood. You know seafood. crawfish is in season. I know. Every time <laughs> I go into one of the stores, they'd be like, crawfish season and this and that. Yeah, but we got to go get a good boil bag. Wow. You, oh, my mm-hmm. God. What Am I dreaming here? <laughs> Please put it in there. Okay, there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Low, right? Yes. Low. This is crazy. This is this anything like spicy Cajun. I'm here for it. I'm a big foodie, though. Like this don't <laughs> even happen. This don't even happen. So Those... but the type of stuff I like to do, I'll be like going fishing. Like I like to go to the beach and stuff. You ever heard of Galveston Beach? Yes, I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I, I heard out. it's not the best. But you know what? I'm not from the beach area. So a beach is a beach to me. I go down there a lot and hang out. But that's some of the things I like to do. I'm like a water sports person. I just really enjoy like going to the park. Going I could to the too. Beach. Really? You about, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, you probably got good balance too, don't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> hey, listen, it's all trial and error. <laughs> the but balance listen, ain't there. I know that you got to go meet friends. But I want to say thank you so much for stopping and talking to me but i want to say most importantly i appreciate you you know stay who you are don't ever change because i'm gonna tell you god got some great gifts planned for you everybody is different you got people who's rude people who look down on other people even you said that you still have friends that you associate with all the time who works regular jobs you don't look down on people and stuff like that and you're going to be very, very blessed. And I wish you the best of luck with your businesses and stuff. Stop. And, I'm so happy I met you. This and I'm happy so I met sweet. you, too. And you will be hearing from me. You so should. When you see that number flash across the screen, don't be like, <laughs> that's Damien. Yes, it's me. But I want to say thank you for your time. I <laughs> really you. appreciate it, Lo. Yeah, it's okay. nice. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My name's Damien. What's your name? I go by Shay. Shay? Oh, that's a beautiful name. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're welcome. So where you headed to, Shay, on this beautiful day? Well, I was just walking on my way to go get something to eat. Okay, so what type of food do you be eating, if, if I'm not being too personal? Um, so today, I just wanted maybe like a hibachi type, like rice. I like meat. Mmm, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm not a huge rice person, but I do like eat at like the hibachi grill. It's like a hibachi, like where they sell like the yeah, rice. there's some down that way. Wow. wow, so are you from out this way? Kind of. I'm from the suburbs of this, but yes. Suburbs. Okay. <laughs> I don't do this often, but when I do stop, I'm just going to be real with you. Like, I'm actually doing like a social experiment. Of what? Well, it's like, since I moved out here to Houston, I moved out here in 2000. From? 19, from Indiana. Indiana. And it's like, every time I meet somebody or I try to meet somebody, people are so rude and disrespectful and you know i was starting to think like is this all houston people like this but stopping and talking to you for a second like i guess all women are not the same well, for one i'm not from here but the real women of houston i must say will stop even if it's a no really we'll stop and we won't be disrespectful really it just depends on how much we entertain wow <laughs> this is different well this is my lamborghini right here 
Um, I don't know if you in a rush or anything, if you got a few minutes to hang out, maybe five minutes to hang out for a second. I know that's kind of odd. Your car is nice and I got to do. I can stop for like a little bit, but I gotta go. I won't hold you up. I just want to get to know you because this is different for me. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm going to keep my door unlocked. Absolutely. You can actually keep it up if you like. Thank you. All right, you ever been inside one of these before? Yes. Oh, I've... in my younger days. Oh, in your younger not... your younger days, you don't you look like these. you're you're younger than your days. The real women of Houston have had these type of days way back in the day. Okay. Would you feel comfortable if I just leave the door open? Yes, that would be preferred. Okay, yes ma'am, no problem. Oh, she seems like a really, really nice lady, man. I wanna get to know her. Okay, so you good and comfortable over there? Don't be nervous and reaching for your heater. It's cool. Listen. I'm just a friendly guy trying to meet some people out here. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, so what about you? I mean, you just seem like you got such a good vibe to you. Like mm -hmm. on a sidewalk, when I stop and try to talk to you, like you literally stopped, turned mm -hmm. around and talked to me, looked me in the eye. And that's very rare for that to happen. Because most people will be like, get your old butt out of my face or just. You're a very good looking man. And I have a situation set. I have a situation ship, but conversing with someone doesn't mean anything. How did I know that you wanted to stop and talk to me because of me? You might, you know, but you're not a bad looking man. And you just keep going because. Thank you. I appreciate Houston that. Houston is crazy, but it's some, it's some solid women here. Is it? I think it'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I mean, I do appreciate that. So you say that you have a situationship, mm -hmm. meaning that you are involved with somebody. Mm -hmm. Enough to not be doing this. That's why that door opened. You know what? What's your <laughs> name again? I go by Shay. Shay. Mm -hmm. That right there, I have to respect that. And I'm going to tell you why. This is kind of weird. And I know that you got to go. Um, like... Even the vibe that you gave me when you stopped and talked to me, you seemed so genuine. And the fact that even when I told you that this was my Lamborghini, you wasn't all impressed. You wasn't all over me. And in my car, you're letting me know up front that you have a situation ship. You know, you didn't lie and, oh, well, we can still hook up. And that right there is so different because we need more people like you. And you would be the type of woman that I would definitely marry. <laughs> and that's not being funny, but it's it's true because, like I said, it, just the fact that you got in a car and you didn't say, oh, I'm not involved with nobody. Oh, I'm single. You were honest and let me know up front that you got a situation going on. Well, you just keep being who you need to be because, honestly, it's a lot of this going on and it's not what it seems. So if you stay true to yourself, you'll find the right one and you can tell what's real and what's not. Wow. So you just keep being you. It'll be a okay okay well let me ask you this real quick so like if you wasn't in a situation ship would i be somebody that you may consider you know like going out to eat with or something or i wouldn't mind no wow so if i asked you for your phone number or something like that you know just to like on like a friend thing would that cause any issues with your situation ship it would but what's the number mm, here i'll let you here, you want to put yours on mine? Uh, <laughs> you're smart, old man. Smart old man, okay. Smart, I like it. old, handsome, wise. I mean, a man is a man, baby. I mean, do you really mean... Okay. Well, you introduce yourself as an older gentleman and just understand that a real woman is going to understand a man for a man, no matter how old he is. Okay, but you really mean what you said, though, earlier when you told me to keep going, that all women are out here are not the same. I wouldn't be standing if I knew. I mean, I hope I will find somebody like you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got any sisters or cousins? or? This? I got a mama, but she ain't gonna like this part, so I got some cousins. Your mom look like you? She do. She got to be a good woman to raise a woman like you. Oh, she's something else. <laughs> wow. So I would hope that because I'm, I, you know, me, I'm going to use the number okay. and I don't want to like cause any issues like in your situation. Sure.